hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how to create dependent drop downs or dependent select components from end design like here we have example of selecting a salary range where we can select from a value of from 1000 to 10000 and if suppose i select a value of 5000 then in the two drop down the value should start from the from value till the maximum value so user can select any of these value and if suppose i select value which is greater than the two value like i select the 8000 then it will reset so the user can select it uh, a value greater than the from actually this was a request from one of my followers so i decided to create a video on this one so that others can also benefit from it to see how we can achieve this using end design components let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the select component from end design and start using it so it will be select and if we save it here you go we can add a placeholder we can say salary from and if i save it here you go and similarly we can add a another select component that we can say salary two right let's add these inside a space to show them horizontally so we can say the direction is horizontal and give it a gap size of maybe 12 pixels is enough okay so right now uh, there's nothing to select so let's add the salary range so we can say const salary range and that an array of values starting from 1000 to 10000 as you go and here uh, we can define the options that we can say the salary range and map each of the value and we can say salary and then return a uh, object that has the label and then a value uh, because the options we provide to select contains the label and the value so we have the set range in integers so we can convert that into a object where label will be equal to the salary and the also the value is also equal to the salary we can uh, change this to something else maybe we can say it's a uh, maybe dollar and then the dollar salary so it will look like dollar one thousand dollar two thousand right so if i save it here you go it looks like this way but right uh, but we have defined the values in like simple one thousand two thousand right and we can add uh, these options to the second select as well so we can select these from here as well right so let's add a little typography here as well so we can say typography dot title we can say select salary range and we can add a typography here as well we can say from colon and to colon so here we can say typography dot maybe simple text we can say from and copy this one and add another one here we can say to here you go from and to right and right now i can select any value from here and any value from here as well so let's make them dependent so that once i select maybe 6000 here so i should be able to select uh, either from 6000 to uh, the 10000 right so for that first uh, we need to save the values we have selected in the from so for that we can use the use state hook and we can say salary from and by default it's null and we can import it from the react and similarly if we can say uh, salary to as well so we can say salary two right and for the first select we can say its value is salary from and on change we will be saying 
uh, set salary from right so it's actually it will be giving us a uh, value so we were directly we can directly set it uh, inside this function or we can say get the value and then then set it here right and we can copy this one and add this inside the other select as well salary 2 so here we'll be saying the salary 2 and then we can say salary 2 right and if i save it and we can set right uh, but uh, here uh, we need to do if we have set it suppose 5000 then here we only need to show the values 5000 and above that right so for that what we can do is we are already mapping uh, over the salary range and here we can do a uh, filter and again we will really be getting the salary and here we can say if the salary dot value is greater than equal to the salary from right and if in the two select we need uh, values greater than uh, this value we can only uh, say this greater than otherwise we can say greater than or equal to right so if i save it just refresh and if i now select maybe the 5000 and here we need only have the values to be selectable 5000 and onwards right so i can set 9000 and if i set maybe from here if i set the 10000 so right now it's does not look good so we can get rid of this issue as well so what we can do is once a user has selected uh, the from value we can say if the value that user has selected is greater than the salary 2 then we can say set salary 2 a null value so that user has to reselect it right so what it will be doing is so if i select maybe 4000 then here i have the option from 4000 onwards so i can select maybe 7000 and if i select here from a, uh, a value which is greater than the 7000 maybe 8000 then it will be made empty right so user can select it maybe 9000 and if here i select any value which is below 9000 maybe the 5000 it will still uh, remain the same right i hope you got the idea how to make the input controls or the drop down dependent but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you